Uh, we'll start on the second line of which design. Where we concluded that the, the ultimate principle in the shoe, behind the whole um, shoe element, the Rotsu we understand. Rotsu is where the Nefesh um, and wants to identify with the Lakus because that is in its, its desire. When it comes to the shuv, <coughs> which has to do with coming down Lamata, in Mises and so forth, this is all because of the recognition of the Rotsen Ho'eli, of the Kavon Elikis. And the reason, ultimately, that he becomes aware of the Kavon Elikis and he, and he uh, <laughs> follows through on it is um, because of uh, it's through beetle, and if this is through beetle, therefore the whole union that he that he's involved in in this whole union is not because he has a personal interest. Way back when we spoke about the shuv on the on the lower level, where we're talking about him. That he that in the Rotsu he sought to know Alakus, and then he found that the only way to relate to Alakus is through a shuv. Otherwise, it's in a maravet as we discussed then. So then there is a, a personal experience, personal interest in the shuv. But ultimately, the Indian shuv, as I said, the shuv is ultimately is because of beetle. And therefore, the whole focus on the shuv is to fulfill the Rotsen Ho'elian. Rotsen Ho'elian, he wants and should be a real deal with Achtinim, and that is the whole thing. Now, Beloit Bishvil Atzme Klau, it's in the second line on Tazayim. It's not because for his own sake at all. He has no personal interest in the singing. He has the beetle to the Rotsen Ho'elian, and he sends the Rotsen Ho'elian. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. The different Pshatim in uh, Shuv, are these madregas, or are these like we thought it was this, and now we realize it's really that? Like, no, in no. other words, he's presenting the different. Uh, <sighs> these are madregas. These are madregas in shuv, but in the principle of madregas. We have to understand that the pnimiu, so to speak, the essence of a lower madrega is a higher madrega. This is why from a lower madrega you come to a higher madrega. Because the essence of a lower madrega is not the higher madrega. Hmm. So when he's Maravim, his his own thirst, it's really coming from a deeper um, place. Maravim Why does he want? Why does he want Maravim Because he he wants to have a lakus in the true way. What is the truth of a lakus? The Kavon Elikis. That's what we discussed yesterday and the other day. I mean, all of this conversation when it came to this mm-hmm. you know, from Beetle Kavon Elikis. Why does he have to do with Kavon Elikis? This is where he relates to lakus in Mitanemus. There is a, a taich. The Gemara says, "Lein masikodem tiru mitzvah shaloy lishma, shemitoy shaloy lishma, bol lishma." You know what I'm referring to? I mean, I know what that. Um, the taich. Oh, shemitoy shaloy lishma, bol lishma, because the word mitoy, the the yeah. poshut pshat mitoy means, as a result of that, he got up. But the 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 pnim is he is mitoy. The toy, the inner hidden, the inner nakuda, is loy lishma, is lishma. There's a Gemara that says, and there is a Pruta Lutzdoka. One gives a Pruta Lutzdoka. And he says, I'm not so yichibni. I'm just giving Lutzdoka so that my son survives 
this is going difficult. Harei ze tzadik gomor. That's what I'm saying. Harei ze You want to go straight to the to the point. Tzadik gomor. So Toys was over there asking, how is it tzadik gomor? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. How is it tzadik gomor? He's doing it for alternative reasons, for personal, for personal reasons. How is it tzadik gomor? So Toys just explains that, it, that yes, he does it for personal reasons, but but be pnimius he means it mitanemus. How do we know that? That if Chas Sholem, his wish is, is not fulfilled, he will never regret having given the talk. Which clearly shows that he meant to give this talk. That the Pnim is he wanted to give this talk. This is the, the answer to your question. Okay, a second line from the top on Tezayin. So he said, When you have the shuv in this manner, that his whole focus is only, because this is the Ratzon alien to fulfill the Ratzon alien, the Kavon Eliki, is not because of a personal interest. If there is a personal interest, as we discussed before, there's any from Gilo Yoyer, Gilayoyer brings about to, an, to another Gilayoyer. But it is entirely, entirely the Kabbalah say, totally inside the beetle. So therefore, in that way, Hari has Shuv, and maybe they not, so that Shuv will not bring to Rotsu. Me'achar she'ena yroitze le'atz me'kulu. Since he does not want anything for himself. Rotsu means, Rotsu means that he, he, his, his rising up to know and to appreciate more than you, Belokus, regardless with, with what, what's underlying, with, 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 the, with the purity and all that, it consists in his personal desire. He wants to know this. And what does it mean to know? To know means that he personally experiences it. He knows it. That's why there is a name from Enim Rabbit Simoinoi. He doesn't satisfy his, his thirst. Because there is an element involved in this that is a personal, personal thirst. That's about Rotsu. And altogether, the whole name of Seichel, as we discussed many times, we will still, Seichel is based on on, on the personal present. How does one feel, sense that he understands it? He understands it. It makes sense to him. So that's a personal experience. Despite the fact that we're talking about pure truth, but, it, but for him to relate to the truth has to be a personal interest. But here, he doesn't want anything for himself, so how does it buy, bring to the Rotsu? Or be Yosef. And particularly, mitzad ha beetle me has shlifu shibe nafshi. Due to the beetle that we discussed and the shiflus and the lowliness that he senses in himself, where he says, as we said, how do I dare approach Kedusha Apostle Lukus? Mm-hmm. So how does he, how does that turn around to be a rotz? He wouldn't dare. Come, okay, and yet still, but there is a requirement that in avoidance one has to be bibchina shuv and also bibchina srots. This is what. We have always pointed out that when Eden was receiving the Torah, they said Nasa Venishma. And Nasa by itself did not satisfy the requirement for them to receive the Torah. It had to be Nasa Venishma. Even though the first Nasa, but if there is no Nishma following, 
something is missing. There is a requirement that it should be Rotsa Gamkin. As we shall see why and so forth, but that is the, the principle. Nas and Rotsa Vishu. The Choira. And thus we have this question. Eich Yiye Horotsu Achan Hashuv Hanal. How will there be a Rotsu after the Shuv that we just now described? However, the, the principle is like this. In this avoido that we have now described, the final madrig of Shuv, that comes from Tara Beetle, Hagam, Shehi, Irak, Lakayim, Etzene, Rotsen, Ho'elyein, although that is it's purely to fulfill the Rotsen, Ho'elyein, Bli, Shum, Dovele, Atzmoi, without anything for himself, Mikomokoim, nevertheless, Yeish Gamkin Simcho Be'oinek Beho Avaido. There is an element of Simcho and Oinek in this Avaido. Veho, and where is this Oinek and Simcho come from? What does it consist in? If he is totally dedicated to the Rodzino Elyin, where does he have a personal loin against Simcha? And it is, Sheyesh loy tainuk mizeh, that he has tainuk from the fact, Shemnaz and Nachasruach lemailo, Mehoavedot Nachasruach, Mehoavedot. The fact that there is a Nachasruach lemailo from his Avoido, that Nachas Ruach reflects itself in his own Nachas Ruach, in his own time. Um, this is essentially what we discussed yesterday. But when it comes to Atmos, he wants only Atmos. And in Atmos is rooted the union of, of, of the of the Kavona Elikis, the Kavona Shalomai. Therefore, is, the Kavona means the intent, not not what happens, not the Mitzis, but just the intent, then, then the intent of Elikus. And yet, this is what he wants. Why, how does, how does he relate to it? As we pointed out many times, it is not the beetle, no matter how profound the beetle is, this is not the beetle where he is totally um, uninvolved. This is not the beetle of the horse that follows the rider. But the horse doesn't know what it's doing. It's not involved at all. The horse is always doing the same thing. It's moving its legs. That's it. That's not our way. That's not what it means. What then is it? It is that, yes, it is Lamailam in HaSeichel, and it's not possible to grasp it. But Metzad Etzem HaNefesh, this is where the truth is. And, and, and the principle in this is, as I pointed out, is that, is that in everything, and here we, we see this clearly, there is the origin, the intent, and there is a Mitzis that results from it. The Mitzis that results from it, that's his own Nefesh, that's his own Mitzis. The intent, the source, the origin of this nefesh, that's elokus itself. If, when it comes to a pure Aveda, and he realizes that his presence is not really his presence, it is the intent, the source where it's coming from. That's the real thing. Why does he exist? Not because he exists, but because there's intent for him to be. 
then his Nachas Ruach is the same as that of the Nintendo. Let, let's take this a step deeper, a step further. One of the principles, mm-hmm. principle in Yoni, that are, that are, that are um, imperative in human life, is to know that his life has a purpose. If his life is purposeless and it's just to survive, that is not life for a human being. At any level, there may be in this, but essentially, there is there is significance in life. Going further up the, this ladder, when one finally realizes that that his nefesh is actually coming from a lakus, it is not self-made, and he realizes it comes from a lakus and that it comes from Lakus with an intent. And that intent, that is the real thing that he, that gives him a sense of, 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 of real life. Therefore, the intent, that is his real, his real thing. So even though, so we follow this, even though, since that the whole thing is the intent, there is no Mitzius of his own, of his Mitzius. His whole Mitzius is the intent shall my but that intentional matter turns out becomes his interest. That is his his life. Therefore, there is nachas ruach. His his life force, like we said before, a person without a purpose is is lifeless. The purpose is what gives him um, a sense of, of 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 interest in life. So even though it is a purpose that. It's a, the, the Mabishan's purpose, Mabishan's intent. It's not defining that of his mitzvahs. But that is the source of his life, of, of, his, of, of his inspiration. And therefore, that becomes an inspiring thing within himself. That there is a nachas ruach l'maylo. From his avoido, that is his nachas ruach. Because in chayus, there cannot be without nachas, without oinik. The underlying reality of chayus is oinik. No, no, getting that. Sorry. No, it's, don't be sorry. <laughs> um, I, I guess I'm, the, I don't understand the. How does the Nachas Ruach Lamaila become his um, Nachas Ruach? This is the Nachas Ruach Lamaila. This is what gives him Caius. This is how he can accept his, his, his life. Mm. Life without a purpose mm. is not life. And the purpose is the Abishra's purpose. Uh, Abishra's Kavana. Since that there is a Kavana Lakis, that gives him real life. Mm-hmm. If we would examine this whole thought process, we say a person without, um, without recognizing that there is a purpose in his life, would lose interest in life. Like the question that we asked that time, what would be the tragedy if the whole world would just disappear? If a person really perceived that that would be nothing, then it would just happen. Then he would lose all interest in life. Somehow he realizes, no, this would be a tragedy. What's a tragedy? He doesn't know what the tragedy, but he knows that there is something very real in, in, in his life. There's a real purpose. He can't identify it. What happens? You know, like I say, so he ate another, more, another pound of potatoes. 
What happens? There is some kind of a supreme meaning coming from the very supreme, from the very source of life. That there is that there is significance of this life. This is the Kabbalah Nelikis. When one, so to speak, purifies himself, rises to the point where he is actually relating to the absolute, what we could say in, 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 in logical terms, objective truth, and he relates to it, then that becomes his interest. One more notch in this, for more clarity. We all understand the difference between good and better. Or well, we say true and truth. True is in contrast to untrue. Truth has no contrast. In, 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 in normal worldly thought process. We are constantly involved in in better. This is better than that. That gives us a reason to pursue this because it's better than this. But that is not the ultimate interest, not the ultimate source of in inspiration by the in the Nishan. The Nishama is, is pure truth in itself. So therefore, if, if there is a neshama element deep down, it is truth in itself, <coughs> not <coughs> more true than something else. More true than something else is only the neshama in the goof. They have the contrast, you have Nafshal Kis, Nafshal Bamis, and so forth. They are battling the, the, the evil inclination. But when it comes to the pure truth of the nefesh itself, it's not, there, there is no, no contrast there. If there is no contrast, as a matter of fact, <coughs> there is, there, there, <coughs> there's a positive, Yom, 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 yom she'in, she'in bo chayfetz. A day that ha, there is no chayfetz, there is no desire. Why is it no desire? Because there is no opposition. So Mashiach will come, and it will be an old, 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 the, the Giluim from Atmos. If I'm the Giluim from Atmos, so what's the, what's the inspiration to do anything? There is no, there is no sense of accomplishment. And in our mentality, if there's no sense of accomplishment, then what am I doing? So for this, we have to understand that that the real inner holocaust is is infinite in and of itself, not in contrast to its opposite, but just the the pure truth itself. That is an in, in inspiration in itself, in and of itself. That's what the kavon elikis. In the kavon elikis, it's not due to to having accomplished something. But he is, he is focused completely in the Kavona Likis itself. And within that, there is a Noyna. Mm. This is the Notus Amitis Himotse. This is the truth itself. And ultimately, that is what is what is the Rotsan Hanafish. This is what you said. Because it says that in Abayda, there is a, a, a famous saying, the Gemara says, Nachas Ruach, by a Korbonis it says, Ish Reich Nichoyach Lashem. Reich Nichoyach Lashem. What kind of Reich Nichoyach? What, what is the, what is the Nichoyach, the pleasant, the pleasant Reich? How is it, what kind of pleasantness can there be? The answer is, Nachas Ruach, Lepfome, Shomartim, Nasser, Tzayim. 
Matim Nasser and saying that his mom is this is Nachas Ruah because this is the Kavona Likis that he Lamata this should be Nasser and saying. And we even have a Moshe for this. Al Derech Moshe Ba'avedis Evet. In the Aved of an Evet. Yes, loy tainu glo yes tainu glo ho evet ba melachto i the evet has a tainu in his work. So let's wait and see what this is all about. What tainu does the evet have? Where do we see that the evet has tainu in, in his work? Shemishum zeh. Well, because of this time of the inherent time that he has in his work, because of that, humahadir mahamalocho shatihya bihidu. He's mahadir, he beautifies the malocho, that the ultimate result should be bihidu. Should be not just to satisfy the minimum requirement, but that it should be bihidu. It should cover all grounds and, and be in full, full glory and full beauty. Im he yois, well, although the hati fair as for hatai not bozem, that the glory and the the praise, so to speak, the tainuk that comes from this, yei shirak leho odin, is all attributed to the odin only. Velo yizoche klal shmoi alze. And his name, the name of the name of the abbot who brought it about, will not be mentioned ab, uh, um, 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 uh, along with it. When when people admire, so to speak, the kings um, and, and the audience, uh, um, the beautiful palace, they will not say, "Oh, this is what the, the abbot who did it." Say, "This is the glory of the audience." Yet still, he has a tainuk from the fact from the fact that the Odin and because of that he is Mahadir. Let us think into this a bit. We have a few minutes. He is doing the work. He is doing the work because he is an abbot. And was instructed to do such and such. And he goes out and he does this work in, in, in a perfect, in, 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 in the level of perfection. Where is that perfection coming from? Let's understand. He is, he is beautifying something. As an avid, what is the concern of an avid? He should have a piece of bread. He shouldn't be smitten. What, what, what's an avid? What does he come to, to glory? To glory? What does he come to appreciate glory? It's not in his, it's not in his mindset. Where then does it come from? He he relates to his master, and he recognizes the master and says this, uh, that, that the master has the inner glory, and because the master deserves, so to speak, this glory, so he dives into it and he brings out all the glory that the master deserves. This glory that the master deserves, that translates in him all, he, in his own experience of glory. This is why he is able to bring out all the talent that the, that is required to to glorify. It. Otherwise, he wouldn't have in a sense. What is he doing? What's beauty? It's not part of his lexicon. It's not part of his personal experience.
So the oil leg of the of the of the Ode becomes his oil. Leg. The oil leg, the the, the the beauty, the the, the oil leg and the glory of the Ode um, <laughs> lets him appreciate glory. And this is where he gets the, the sense of how this is supposed to be done in a glorifying man, manner. So even though it is entirely in dedication to the Odin, as a matter of fact, he gets it from the Odin, and, it's, and, and, and there's no personal interest, and that becomes his personal, his personal experience. <clears throat> So this is where we're going to interrupt today. Sounds a lot like what we spoke about Thursday night, where we said that uh, Emmis, the person, is his desire is for something that is remote from him. Is um, it's not a person? I think we were talking there about the uh, uh, no shuv, shuv, I guess. <coughs> Oh, the bittle, yeah, the deeper level in the Shama, the, the bittle that he's interested in, uh, and just doing what's the truth or something. Like because why is it the truth? Because that's where it's coming from. That's the kavona. Mm. The ultimate truth is not in the mitzvahs, but in the kavona. That's what the Raman says. Amit is himot, not the himot. We once hear this going back a while. Talking about oil and the key. Shmoy, Shem. So someone asked, I don't want to mention it. Why, why Shmoy? Why not him himself? He himself is a non entity. There's no way you. you it's Shmoy, I said the oil. And that's all he wants. The minute he wants he himself, then he is dissociated from the truth. You know the altar ever said I want you alone. Right. I want you alone means the Kavan and the kid that we said. I want you alone exclusively because because of the fact that this is what you want. Deeper than Shema, I guess. Huh? That's a deeper than Shema? The Kavana? The Kavana is the source of Shema. We don't want the Abishra, we want what the Abishra wants. How do you come to want what the Abishra it's that would be so, that would be so. It's not real. Anything you want to have to have a, 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 a basis in reality. Because even, even the Shema itself is a creation, is that why? Yeah, it's a creation. So yes, yes. The Shema itself is a creation in that sense. Thank mm-hmm. you.